Hey everyone, in this video, I wanna teach you how to use main stage as a All right, folks, so I didn't really think I'd ever be saying this, but we're gonna do a tutorial on vocoding inside of main stage. For a long time, I didn't actually know it was possible to do this. We'd had some people ask, and this effect, if you're not familiar with it, is actually popping up on a lot of modern worship songs these days. So I thought, oh, shoot, why not? Let's do a tutorial on how. And it, it's actually really easy because Mainstage does feature a built-in vocoding plugin. So you already heard the end result. It sounds like this. Whenever I play, comes out with the notes that I play on the keyboard. And that's the effect. So you can do individual notes, or you can do full chords. And it's actually really fun and addictive to do. So let me show you how to do it. So just make sure that you have a microphone connected to main stage through your audio interface, and that in main stage audio preferences, you have that interface set as the audio input. Otherwise, you're not gonna get very far into this tutorial at all. So add a blank patch to whatever main stage concert you're using. And then we're gonna add a software instrument channel strip and just designate the input to be whatever keyboard you regularly use. So just hit create. And now we're gonna click on the instrument plugin area and we're gonna go down and add Evoc 20, which is the vocoder synth inside of main stage. And it opens up looking like this, and right out of the gate you can play it and you'll hear this synth sound. That's how it starts, that's the factory preset, but it's not gonna vocode right out of the gate. So you have to make a couple of changes for it to actually give you this effect. First off, up in the top right corner of the plugin, you wanna click on the drop down where it says side chain. And then select the input on your audio interface that you wanna use as the vocode source audio. So I'm gonna choose input one. Next here, also in the top right corner of the plugin, you wanna click on where it says signal and change it to VOC, that stands for vocal. Now, if your MIDI keyboard is connected and ready to play, you can speak into the mic and then you'll get this vocoded sound out based off of the notes that you play on the keyboard. So if you've done everything correctly, then you will hear this effect and whenever you play, will be impacted by the vocal input. And that's really all there is to it from here. Everything is just nuance and adding texture or interest. There's a bunch of different features within this plugin and you can read all about what they do by going up to help in the toolbar and choosing main stage instruments because there's a lot of thorough documentation on how this plugin works and the various functions and features of it inside main stage's own help docs. One of the really cool things you can do is shift the formant of your voice. This is a really common effect in a lot of pop music. It's used a lot in worship music recently as well when a vocoding effect is desired. So you can shift the formant up or down and hear how it affects the timbre of the sound. So here's where the formant shifted up a good bit. So now it sounds like this. The formant's up really high. And it's a really prominent effect with a lot of high end. Or we can shift the formant down. And both, both up and down, these directions are like a pretty instantly recognizable sort of effect um, that you're gonna have heard before on popular music in worship music. So now with the formant shifted down, it sounds like this. Totally the opposite effect. It's kind of what you'd expect with that nice low formant shift. And then just for comparison, we'll go back to the middle. So this is with no formant shift applied at all. Now one thing to note is that as you shift the formant around and depending on the microphone you're using and the space you're playing in, it can get a little bit muddy. It's really easy for things to get too boomy. So it's a good idea to apply some EQ to this channel strip. So you can use the channel EQ plugin to take out a bunch of the low end, especially if you wanna do this in an actual live performance, make sure that you really intentionally dial in both the input gain of the mic and the channel strip itself so that it's actually gonna translate well during a live performance. And then lastly, one really cool thing you can do if you wanna use vocoding as sort of like a pad, um, then you can add some reverb to the channel strip. So I'll go down here to reverb 
and choose Silver Verb. And I'll sort of keep these settings where they are. And now I'm actually able to sort of use this more as a pad because it's gonna have a longer decay. This is a really, really cool effect. And the great thing is you can actually layer regular software instrument channel strips in with this vocoding sound. So you could have a real pad or a piano sound and also bring in this vocoding effect as you want. So here's how it sounds with a little bit of reverb. All right guys, I know this isn't our typical style of main stage tutorial, but vocoding is a bunch of fun. Too fun to not do a video tutorial on. I've been trying to talk my worship leader into letting me give it a try during a live worship service. I haven't gotten the green light yet, but if I ever do, I'll be sure to grab a video and let you know how it goes. We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Would you give vocoding a try during one of your live worship services? I'll also include links in the description to our done for you worship keys resource called Sunday Keys. We'll have some free main stage patches for you, and I'll also include a link to our free main stage course if you're brand new to main stage. So be sure to check out those links. Thanks for supporting us at Sunday Sounds. Have a great day.